What's gaming, gamers? I have great news. I got my game on Steam. It has a demo, which is great, but there's a problem. The median playtime of the demo is really low, and I heard that long demo playtimes are highly correlated with game success. After consulting the ancient texts, I realized that the only way to fix this was to do the one thing the ancient game devs feared the most. I needed to make the game infinitely difficult. So, how does this actually work? Well, after beating a few rooms, the player will find a locked mausoleum. After clearing out the rest of the rooms, the player can enter the now unlocked mausoleum and be transported to the start of the level, but this time, each room will have more enemies. You're able to do this until you die. I know this sounds like it was pretty simple to do, but there was a really weird thing I had to do to get this to work. But first, if the game sounds cool, you can check out the Void Wizard Steam demo, link in the description. You can also join my Discord to get early updates of the game. Also, also, legend has it that if you don't wishlist the game, a mysterious figure will show up in your house at 3am, call you cringe, cringe, and then kill you. So be sure to wishlist, gamers! Okay, so what weird thing was I forced to do to get the looping to work? Okay, so what weird thing was I forced to do to get the looping to work? Well, in the game, the player object has a lot of information attached to it, and if I just reload the level, all of that data gets deleted since the player's inside the level. Magic. This was seriously stressing me out, because I thought I had to keep track of all the stats of the player in a separate file, and reapply them when the level restarts. This would have included health, mana, fire rate, money, which weapons are equipped, and more. This obviously would have been a lot of work, and would have probably caused some issues, so I consulted the ancient texts. Let's see here. To avoid killing the player and facing strife, put him in limo. <laughs> limo. Put him in limo. And... Not limo. <laughs> no. Put him in limbo and bring him back to life. It turns out that Godot, the engine I use, has this thing called the scene tree. There's actually a way to remove something from the level while keeping it alive in the tree. How is this possible? Huh? Well, whatever level, aka what scene you're in, is actually a child of a window node. With, with that knowledge, you can actually just change the player's parent from the scene root to the actual root, which is the window node. Magic. Once you do that, the player is basically in limbo, and you're able to change or reload the current scene. Once you've done that, you just bring the player back into the land of the living, aka make it a child of the scene again. Pretty neat, huh? Now that you know how to put things in limbo, you should also know that I added a new wand. Okay, okay, I got kind of lazy and just added a gun, but hey, it's funny, so it's justified, okay? The gun can actually one-shot every enemy, but has a lower fire rate. I still wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of this thing, though. Another big thing I did was add steam achievements, but it was actually a lot easier to do than I expected for once, so that was refreshing. That's all I really have to say about achievements. They were just kind of easy. Okay, so putting the player in limbo, integrating Steam achievements, adding a gun, and a lot of other stuff I did was kind of hard. But nothing, I mean nothing, can compare to balancing the mere five weapons you can pick up. <sighs> As the famous game developer, Albert Einstein, once said, It is a natural law that a gamer, without fail, will use the most effective tactic available or the meta, even if it is less fun and rewarding. Now, while what Einstein said is absolutely true, balancing is a bit less important for a roguelike, because you likely won't find every weapon in every one. In fact, I think some loadouts should be a bit stronger than others, so that bad players can rely on luck. Remember kids, gambling is always fun, and never addictive or harmful. I have one more thing to share with you today. It's a problem I'm facing. A big one. The other day, my brother saw me working on the game, and he stopped and said, <laughs> Minecraft. My game does not look like Minecraft, okay? 
Sure, it's a first-person voxel art game with skeletons and slimes and blocks, but it's not Minecraft. So to make it stand out for Minecraft a bit more, I added the new Mark Zuckerberg enemy. Wishlist the game. Oh, great heavens! What? No. No, I don't know.